Hey there, Alan here, and um, you uh, may have noticed, if you're following my blog, a couple of recent posts where I've added something interesting to my videos. I've made them more interactive. I've set them up so you can do things inside of the video that will engage your viewer. Um, if you haven't seen them, then take a look at my post about Ripplin and my post about Banners Broker. They were posted around August 18, 19 of 2013. So there's uh, two separate posts and there's two separate videos that illustrate this. And I'm sure I'm going to be using this, uh, this feature more often because it's engaging and uh, I believe it's effective. Now what I want to do is I want to show you how it's done. So what I've done is I've gone into one of my YouTube accounts. Now let me do a little bit of quick background here. Um, I created a uh, website called rvacrossamerica.net. It's uh, geared towards RVers. And um, <clears throat> I've made a uh, Gmail account to match that, uh, which would be rvacrossamerica uh, at gmail.com. When you create a Gmail account because YouTube is uh, owned by Google, and of course Gmail is Google Mail, uh, you are essentially creating a YouTube account. So whatever the username is that you have for your Gmail, which in my case is RV Across America, and whatever password you give them uh, for Gmail will be the same password for YouTube. So all I've done here is I've logged in. That's it. Uh, that's all you see. Um, it's a new account. I haven't done anything with this YouTube account. There's maybe two or three videos that have been uploaded. So what I want to do is I want to click this little carrot next to my picture. I did give them a photograph uh, so that that helps to identify. It helps to create a bit of a relationship with your uh, readers and viewers. If I click this little carrot, it opens up where I can see my video manager, but I want to go to YouTube settings. So I click YouTube settings. <clears throat> and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how this gets set up. Um, you can see that RV Across America at Gmail is connected. Uh, you can see my photo is here. I'm going to go down to view additional features. And this brings me into my channel settings area looking at features. Uh, I can see by green lights that I'm in good standing with the basic things that one would be looking to do. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to turn some of these buttons green. And what that's going to do is eventually enable me to um, create videos with the added on features that you're seeing in my, <coughs> in my Ripplin and Banners Broker uh, videos. So I see three things here that I can enable. I can enable monetization and I do want to do that. Not that I'm going to have advertising running on my videos from YouTube, but you need to enable this in order to go further with the features that I'm referring to. And the features I'm referring to are going to allow people to click on your video and either subscribe to your channel or link to something on your website like with my alansills.com uh, people are able to um, link I'm able to link them directly to alansills.com forward slash something whether it's forward slash intro to show them the uh, uh, rippling um, information for getting started or forward slash to a blog post for um, Banners Broker or Ripplin or anything else that I happen to be talking about or promoting in the video. So I'm going to click Enable here. <coughs> and um, I go to Enable My Account. It brings up a uh, pop-up window after a few moments, as you saw, where I have to click these check boxes, tick boxes, to agree to the things that... Uh, they want you to, they want you to read this. Um, it's your standard boilerplate agreement that you're not going to do weird things and promote things that are inappropriate or click on your own links to uh, if you're using their own AdSense system. So I just accept all that. And I see an error here. Through the uh, magic of uh, video and video editing, what I did was I paused the video and I played around with this a little bit. I tried resubmitting that uh, 
uh, that submission box where you agree to things and it came back with the same error so I simply went up to the top here and refreshed the page and then got back to channel setting features and you can see the monetization went through who knows okay uh, the next thing is I'm going to enable longer videos can't hurt to have that enabled so they want to know what country you're in and they want to verify what's going on and since I make my phone number public uh, it's no big deal to show that to you here and uh, what they want to do is submit this and it's going to text me a, a verification code and that just came in so I just went to my phone grabbed the verification code with six digits put them in clicked accept or enter whatever it was and here I am congratulations your YouTube net account is now verified click continue so I click continue and you can see that we're moving right along and in fact everything is now good to go so our next move is to click to click here where it says advanced and this is where we start getting to the good stuff so when I go to advanced <clears throat> I want to make sure that United States is in there channel keywords is um, well when I picked RV across America it's because I did a little bit of research and I found out there are a few hundred searches every month just for that keyword phrase RV across America so I'm gonna put in RV across America um, I'm gonna put in uh, motorhome travel um, I could do more research on this but I'm one of these guys that kind of shoots them the hip so RVing across America um, travel by motorhome I can always go back and modify those again I'm in channel settings advanced that's basically where I am to do this <clears throat> I need to allow advertisements to be displayed otherwise nothing will work now this is where we get to the good stuff associated website what I want to do is remember I said I want to make videos where I'm going to be able to say click here and you can get the full story um, and what that will do is that will allow them to click on whatever URL I put in here and I'm going to put in RV across America net <clears throat> it's not critical that the name of the account is RV across America and the name of the website is RV across America net they don't have to match uh, but obviously the more congruency there is in your keywords between your email address your YouTube account and your actual website probably the better off you are so now uh, just off the top of my head um, I was out for a hike today in the Zirkle, the Mount Zirkle Wilderness. Now I'm going to make a blog post about that. I've got some photos and uh, just a few thoughts to share with people about hiking the Mount Zirkle Wilderness. Now, um, who's going to find that article? Well, if somebody goes in and searches Mount Zirkle Wilderness, uh, they might find my video. I'm going to make a video about it and talk about it a little bit. Uh, maybe I'll go back there and I'll actually shoot a video while I'm hiking. Um, however I do it within that video if I want to direct them back to RV across America net to the specific page that has the article about the Zir Mount Circle Wilderness you get the idea so I'm gonna click add here it shows pending because YouTube wants to make sure that I am the owner of that site or that I have that site's permission to do that um, because if I wasn't the owner then uh, I could be using this for nefarious purposes or whatever um, so what I need to do is um, 
Uh, it says request approval from the website owner, which I haven't done before, or verify that you own it. So let me click on verify and see where that takes us. I have a feeling what it's going to ask me to do is put a snippet of code uh, in on uh, rvacrossamerica.net, and I'll have to show you that. Okay, so it wants me to go to Webmaster Tools. It took me there automatically. And yeah, uh, it's giving me a uh, HTML verification file. It's telling me to upload it to rvacrossamerica.net. Uh, confirm by putting this in the browser and then click verify below. So I'm going to make a few moves here and I'm going to bring a few things up and then I'll be back with you.